I am Helbert Jaflumira from Peacock Seeds, Marawi. Peacock Seeds is a Malawian seed company which produces high level of different cereals and leguminous certified seeds. <laughs> Our annual turnover ranges from 800 to 1 million US dollars. And our operation in Marawi, Botswana, and in Tanzania, the seed is under trial, and Mozambique, we also under trial. Our core values is one is quality. We maintain quality from the parental lines to the whole value chain of seed up to the smallholder farmer. Another one is efficiency passion for excellence, transparency, and integrity in all our business transactions. Peacock Seeds produces high, high drought tolerance maize varieties, we have four varieties of maize, we have Peacock MH33, Peacock MH30, Cape Nancy Zo1. All these maize varieties are medium maturity of high yielding with an average of 10 tons per hectare, and we have different legumes, crops like beans, cowpeas, pigeon peas, and we have a high value crop, sesame seed, which, were, which is also under trial with the station and a drought tolerant uh, sorghum variety. The problem we try to address as pigox seeds is farmer lower productivity food insecurity, reduce the, ga the gap between the smallholder farmers and climatic change conditions. As we are aware, the farmer, seed, and food are the same. When the farmer uses the certified seeds, the productivity increases, and the farmer will have an increased yielding, which will enable her to sell some of our proceeds for improved livelihood. Our social proposition is improving the accessibility and uh, availability of high quality drought resistance certified seeds to the marginalized farmers at a reasonable prices. We don't want the farmers to be walking along distances to assess our to access our seed. And our partners, our cooperating partners, the first one is the farmer, then of CMIT, Agrisat, ACF, Seed Safety Unit, the grower, the transporter, the agro dealers, HF, private company. What we ask from the investors, we want a cash in injection of 100 to 200,000 euros to facilitate the seed payments to our growers. As we are aware, most of our businesses, like in a year, we have a cash flow of two to three months, but to pay these growers, we find it hard. So we like a cash injection so that these growers should be paid in time. Thank you for your presentation. <coughs> it's difficult eh, because all companies are in seeds and you're all addressing the same problems. And you would not be here if you were not socially driven because that's, eh, that's otherwise you would not have ended up in this, in this presentation. So what I note from you is that you tell me what your turnover is. It's a, it's a million euros. And what I remember of you is what you ask. You ask between 100,000 and 200,000 euros. So now I can make a calculation in my mind. And for the other one, I know that you're number five, but I don't know the market in Malawi. So it really helps for investors to tell what you're doing and also what you ask. So I would like to compliment you with that um, because it makes it very clear and uh, also differ differentiates your pitch from uh, from other ones so I would say to you uh, well done I wanted to make a comment on your um, you told us about the the turnover uh, and, and like uh, my colleague here is saying obviously uh, we, you are all in seeds maybe one just as an improvement, one area could have been how does that translate to, um, a, 
to lowering the cost and uh, because you see we it, it gives me an impression that you're making a good profit eh? so it's just an improvement and maybe to show us how that profit is translating into the benefiting uh, the smallholder farmers or the you know the market yeah thank you um yeah it was very interesting presentation i have maybe i know that we've been instructed not to ask question but maybe i will ask you one and yeah. <laughs> and that what question is i understood from other presentation that malawi has its own peculiarities when it comes to seeds sometimes they're given through ngo sometimes the government gets them and my question is how do you interact directly with the farmers or how do you reach out to them uh, through which mean? We as Pure Seeds, in order to improve the farmers' adoption of our hybrid maize varieties, we do conduct sim seed demonstration plots, whereby we plant the seeds at the strategic areas or within the crops of the farmers. And we do conduct the few days and the farmers meeting, the stakeholders meeting, so that these farmers should know what our maize is. And the farmers, according to the recent tri preface trial, which was conducted by desert seed stations, all our three varieties were being preferred by the farmers are the best maize varieties in Marawi. And on the second question, we do involve smallholder farmers in seed production. We, like this year, we have almost 300 hectares of seed under production, whereby we select farmers to be part of it, starting from one hectare of land for legumes and a minimum of 10 hectares of land for maize seed.